everybody, this is Denise with purplepaperparadise.com. Welcome to Day 5 of Christmas with the eCraft. Now, one of the things that the eCraft Shop Pro software does not have built into it is an option to break apart images. And this becomes a problem with a lot of the SVG files that are out there. And I'm showing you one here on the screen. This is a ho 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 footprint that I got from Denise's scrapbooking room and you should really check out her site. She's got lots of wonderful things there. But if you notice here there's a box that comes in around these footprints. And since there's no breaking feature in eCraft Shop Pro, if we were to set this to cut right now to the eCraft, it would cut not only these footprints but also this box around here. And we're actually going to be using this as a stencil, so we really don't want this box to be cut around here because the more space we have at the top and bottom and the sides of the footprints, the better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape to modify this image so that we don't have this box appear anymore. So I've got Inkscape open here and I've opened up the exact same SVG file. And you'll see here that what uh, the designer had done was she had made these footprints white and put this red box around them. Now when she did that, that red box actually became a path so that it's being read by the eCraft Shop Pro software is something that we want to cut. Now if you take a look at this, you can see that by I can click on each individual section of this SVG because the designer did not group all of this together. If she had, we would need to ungroup them before we could delete things. And the way you do that is simply by going up to Object and then selecting Ungroup right there, or there's an icon for it right here on the toolbar. But since she did not do that, we don't need to worry about that part of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the red box and I'm just going to press the delete key on my keyboard. Now you may be looking at this and going, oh my goodness, I can't see those footprints anymore. And that is because those were colored white, which is also the same color as our background. So I'm going to click and drag over a large area here. And now you can see that I've got all these bounding boxes that show all the little individual pieces that make up those footprints. And I'm just going to, I want to make sure that I've got everything selected here. So I'm going to go to this icon here, which is like a little paintbrush. And it says Edit Objects Color Gradient Stroke Width Arrowheads Dash Patterns. This is a great tool to get familiar with when you're using Inkscape. And we're going to go here to the Fill and Stroke. And I've got the Fill tab. And we have selected here that we want a flat color. And you can select any of these colors down here or the colors in here. You can make your own colors that you want to fill it with. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to select right there. And you can see now that our footprint has been recolored to this blue color. And we do have all of our elements here that we need. So now I am just going to go ahead and save this SVG again. So I'm doing a save as. And I'm just going to call it Ho 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 Santa Footprint. And then I usually put Redone at the end of it. So that way I know that I have modified it so that it can be cut. So if for ever some reason I have a difficulty cutting this SVG, I know probably it's something that I did with it. And I can go back to the original and try and cut that out and see if that works and try to do my modifications again. But this way, I know that I've done this um, so that if we do have problems, and I know it's probably something that I did. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now we're going to go back to our eCraft Shop Pro, and I'm going to add a new project here. And we're going to go ahead and import the Redone SVG. And now you can see we don't have that box around the image. It's just cutting out the footprints. So this is one of the reasons why I really hope that Craftwell can get uh, a break feature in there because it really just saves a step and it makes things a lot easier when you can do that. A lot of people on their SVGs, they put their copyright information right there in the SVG. So if you, um, and in fact, tomorrow the file that we're going to be working with has that. So 
If you don't have a breaking feature in there, you would have to actually cut out all those letters. So that's why Inkscape is a great thing for um, all crafters to get familiar with because it is a free program. So you can download it today and I will have a link on my blog on how to download it. And you can do some of these simple modifications to your SVGs so that you can get it to cut the way you want it to. Hi everybody, this is Denise at purplepaperparadise.com and I have our Santa footprint stencil all cut out and I've laid it on the carpet right in front of our Christmas tree. And in this little container here I have some cornstarch and I'm going to use this to sprinkle on top of this stencil right onto the carpet and when we remove our stencil it's going to leave a footprint so Christmas morning the kids will get all excited because they'll see that Santa was here and that he even made a mess and, and there we go we can see Santa's footprints there right on the carpet so this is a really cool thing that you can do to add a little magic to your kids Christmas morning thanks for watching